Oh no, the whole leg of the tripod just cracked. <laughs> The Great Eclipse of 2024, which is going to cross uh, parts of Mexico, the United States and Canada, is happening tomorrow. But now the forecast is calling for rain right at the height of the eclipse. And I'm heading out in search of clear skies. With over a million people going into the Niagara Falls region in southern Ontario for the eclipse, there are going to be a lot of people looking for alternatives once the clouds roll in. And the clouds have already started to roll in now. Uh, <clears throat> some folks are heading north and east uh, along the lake and towards the Montreal, Ottawa area, while other people are making their way southwest towards Windsor, Detroit. There's a group from the Hamilton Amateur Astronomers Astronomy Club that I belong to that was planning on heading southwest. I looked at Rondo Provincial Park and actually found a couple of sites that were still available, even though they were single tent and no electricity. And it's uh, now 12.30 in the morning and I'm on my way to Rondo Provincial Park. My daughter and I hit the road a couple of hours ago and we're set to arrive sometime after 1 a.m. Just setting up my telescope when this happened the whole leg of the tripod just cracked man this morning's been a bit of a comedy of errors first my tripod on my next r6 SE mount snapped right at the leg as i was trying to get it leveled and then the video i was taking turned out to be on time lapse mode instead of video which completely missed me tripping over somebody's bike because I was backing up taking some some video. That wasn't uh, that wasn't very that wasn't very smooth. That was not smooth at all. But here we are, uh, Rondo Provincial Park. Uh, people are starting to gather. Uh, the park has limited the number of of people coming in. They have uh, 300 visitors, spots, day passes that they had run out of some time ago, and all of the campsites were sold out. But a batch had opened up last night, which is how we were able to get in, managed to book a, a tent site, and my daughter and I arrived around 1.30 in the morning to be able to, uh, to get here first thing. So far, the duct tape leg seems to be holding together. It's not pretty. I was looking for the sun, and there it is. <laughs> I think I'm all set up. I managed to get my telescope solar aligned. Uh, <laughs> I simply slewed to the sun and adjusted the mount physically until the sun was in the field of view, which hopefully puts it uh, fairly close to, to where it needs to be. So with some minor tweaks throughout uh, the uh, two hours of, of the eclipse, I should be able to keep the sun relatively centered while I do some time lapse. And... I also took the time to clear out my hard drive of anything that I could spare to free up as much space as possible. So I think I'm ready to go. My eclipse has started. Looks like about 20% uh, oculation so far. some cloud cover moving through. I'm hoping it just skirts the, uh, the eclipse, the sun. Hoping it moves to the south of us, out over the lake. There is the sun right there. Getting 
obscured by the moon. I'm taking images every five minutes, although I think I might knock that down. Speed it up. Right, there goes the next image. It's capturing right now. So I'm drifting a little bit. I'm going to recenter. Let's just touch this up a little bit. Yeah, it's getting noticeably darker. Probably shouldn't point the camera directly at the sun, but you can see that the hue all around has gotten a little yellowish, and the sun is nothing but a sliver, which you really can't tell on my laptop screen here. It is almost completely obscured. Wow, look at that. Wow. Here it comes. Gosh. Oh my god. What? Oh, oh, oh. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. That was an absolutely incredible experience. The scope held up, the mount held up, nothing pitched over. We saw the ring of fire, we saw the prominences all around the sun. I couldn't believe how big the sun looked when it was uh, completely obscured. The, the ring was, was really something special. Uh, the sky went dark, we could see the stars around it. Uh, it's, I mean, the skies are, the clouds are hazy as always, but it was clear enough that we could see what I thought was Jupiter fairly close by. Um, I'm continuing to take as many pictures as I can. I'm leaving, leaving the cameras that are running time lapses running. The sun is um, coming back now. I am still imaging. I'm going to continue in imaging as long, long as I can. And uh, I'm running out of batteries on, on this camera here too. So hopefully I've got enough uh, footage to share the Solistron 6SE experience of uh, capturing 
a total eclipse, which was totally awesome. Thanks, everybody.